In this video, we're going to explore how we can create the challenging exercise, which was, as this is related to some of my previous videos, make sure you watch those videos so you have a solid foundation. And the question is this, how can we make a color, well, how can we make a chart dynamic with a color picker? So what we want to do here, right now we have this legend here, but we want to make this legend colors and make it dynamic with a color picker so when we sell once we select a color it will adjust here automatically so this will be a lot of fun as well and make sure you watch the other videos as well because those are all related as so far we already make our inputs here we have double values here so we did a lot of work already so we can work from here on and just a quick note we're using here chart js 2.9.4 or point x Depending on which version it is, it's probably right in 2.9.4. But um, so those are the fine. That's probably the best one to use, the most updated version. I'm aware there is a 3.0 currently available. However, that's still in beta. Might be very soon that I will discover that I will export that one. So let's look at this. And a quick note here: if you're interested about Chart.js, check out my Chart.js course on Udemy, which goes deeper in different topics which will give you even more broader view about what you can do is chart JS. All right, so let's look at this and here we have these and what we really want to do is in bootstrap we have this wonderful color picker and what we want to do here is the color picker here activated in here but at the moment we select this color that it show, should show here and also show here so it will always be consistent. How can we do this? So I hope if you did the action exercise or the challenging exercise i hope you already figured it out and you're trying to look for the answer if not let me show you and let's explore together all right so the first thing what we need to do is we're going here and in here we have the loan color and the the cost color and the sales color so this was from our previous video where we connected them already with a color however now instead of this we're going to have a new id or we're going to have the id match with the color picker so what I'm going to get is I'm just going to get this code here under. Everything else is not relevant for me. So we're going to remove everything else. All right, so we've got that all. All right. Now I'm going back here. I'll put it in here. You can see here, this is the value. Well, the value in this case, I will just leave it blank. Not necessary. Choose your color. This will be not necessary as well. The ID will be the loan color. Oh, sorry, that's type color, I need long color. There we are. So I'm going to remove this. And let's see, once we save this, let's see what happens. Now we have our color picker here, but as you can see, it is not yet working accordingly. If we select the color, nothing matches here. So how can we get these colors matching? To do that, let's go down here. And let's go down here, down. And in here, we need to start to insert the colors here. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on this one here, the pink colors, or the pink, orange, and purple, which is the data set number two or number one in the array, the second one in the array, which is number one. And this is the first one in the array, which is number zero. All right. So what we're going to do here is we want to make sure that the color match, but we also have the moment we select the color, it will adjust. So we have a few items that we need to adjust. So let's get this here. We have this text here. We have these get element document by loan text, but we have here now variable loan color. Remember that's the ID that we use. We're going to copy this and put it in here. Get element by ID loan color. So the color that we want, which is here, whatever the value would be in here, this color will be extracted. Once we have that, what we want to do is we want to extract the color only. So if we say here, and this is again the same process as what I showed before, but I would like to repeat that just for, for repetition. It was always good to learn. And we say here, long color. We save this, go back here, refresh, open up our developer tab. You can see now we get the following. Yeah, color, this is the color value, and the value is zero or none which is correct that we didn't give it a zero well a value and we can even put in here dot value color to give it the 
to extract the color only. However, not necessary now. We will do it later on here. So basically in here we have the color. And let's say this color here. We do here the background color. I'm going to remove these commas because this is not a string anymore. This is a value or a, um, not a value, but this is a variable. And this variable doesn't need, doesn't need uh, a comma or quotation marks. So we have here the loan the long color dot value extracting the value right now we have no value here remember that this is eventually becoming important that we have not the that we have the right color code so if you have only pink like what we have in the text that's not allowed because that it cannot read pink the reason why is if you go here back you can see here the type they use rgb or anything else what you can do so Let's get this one, that's fine. 32, uh, th well, or what we can do is even we can use the hash, uh, hash uh, the hex codes. That's the hex color codes. Let's look here. We're going to put in a value, say 009911. All right, so we've got this value here, it will be inserted here. So now let's refresh. You can see now this is apparently the color, it's a green color. As you can see, there's something wrong here with the border. Why? The border is still considered pink. Let's start and explore that one. We want to make sure that that matches. We have this. You put it in here in the border color. And save that. Refresh. Now it is nicely green. But if we adjust the color to wherever we want, and select. Oh, let's select that. Okay. then nothing happens so we need to adjust these colors as well how will we do this very simple we need to put first of all a function in here where we say on change so we say your color on change equals and then update chart so if you're wondering why, why update chart well very simple we have a function already built in which automatically updates it so that is very important that we have this. All right. However, if we do this and refresh, we're not done yet. As you can see, you'll see once we select this, escape. All right. Nothing happens. It maintains still the same color. Why? Because it doesn't update yet in the function here. So what we're going to do here is basically do exactly the same. We're going to create a new variable. And this variable will be the updated variable. So. What we can do here is we have this data, we have this. Let's copy this because this is basically what we want. We will select this and we say here we're going to put in this. But this will be a variable and this variable will be called update colors. Equal, and we have this here. And update colors will not only update the border color, or sorry, the border color here, but also the background color. So they both will be updated, as you could see, because we need to match them both. So we're going to do that. To do that, we need to indicate what exactly we want to update. So we're going to say here, we're going to update from the chart. We're going to put in the data, and then we say the data sets. Number one. Yes, remember number one, why? Because we are in the second array. Then here, we're going to pinpoint data sets. Then we have the background color and border color so we say background color equals and then we say update colors all right once we did that we do exactly the same for our data set but then not background color but border color so we type in your border color update colors and then we save this once we save this let's go back refresh let's check what's going on now we select right now nothing happens okay this is fine you can see right now it does something but it gives an error uh, because we have to this is right now on uh, key up or on change probably you can do key up or something else because this is it probably gets an error here what's going on it doesn't read properly at the moment we to escape oh sorry not here but we have to first select this and then escape 
as you can see now it works so this probably could be on key up or on change we can find a better way for that one however now we have this you can see everything adjusted how can we do for the all all three well very simple let's do that as well so now we've done this we already figured out most of it you probably can figure out that here now we're going to do the colors we're going to adjust them all and then we say not long color we will say here cost color and another one value here will be sales color copy this piece of code and overwrite this one here because these should be matching all right once we did that we can copy here as well we're going to duplicate it three times and then we say here cost color here as well cost color and then here double click here and then we do here sales color and here again sales color and once we did that we're going back here we have the color input we're going to copy this one there's a value in here by default that's fine i'm going to add it up here as well we have here the cost color so i say here color and this will be cost id of cost color the id will be cost color we will give this zero zero and then i'll say this is nine nine there will be probably more a reddish color or more red there we go copy this and do exactly the same but then for our sales color here say yes sales color and the sales color i'll give this a nice bluish blue blue glow sorry yes so there we are i'm just giving this some numbers once i save this this all will be matching accordingly all right so we save everything let's double check if this works there we are so you can see here as we select this then we can go in here and then we select again like this there we are oh i am not sure what happened uh where are we now are we adjusting everything correctly let's double check if our codes are correct cost loan sales tax uh color oh all right of course it doesn't adjust yet because we are not updating these so we're going to update this as well let's select this here uh no not this one sorry down here the colors make sure the color update is correct save this refresh there we are so now if i select a nice red color and escape there we are and this one same as well we do this we click on this and escape there we are so this is basically how you can do it and you might say well how can we play around with this well i will i will check on this one and how we can play around with this where it can be almost instant so this is basically on it might be on click on change on key up or on key down not sure yet we're going to explain explore that one so after some testing i tested myself so let me show you exactly what i did i did some testing where we have an on select a on change which we had maintained and we have the on key up hoping that we had a better result so as i select here and i do this and this is the uh, on select you can see nothing happens but the moment i select here something start to change this probably doesn't work properly here so i don't recommend this if we do this one you can see it doesn't change except for this one here so this is probably your best bet so we cannot find a suitable option but just select the on change however this is basically how you can do it at least you have a solid understanding of it how to adjust colors because most of the time when you select something and then you will go the, that selection that is the most important one once you click on it you're done most people have their phone they use the same structure on this so this should be the most common one to use for here so yeah and you you know as well why you should use on key up for this one and here as well on change what are the options so if you have any questions regarding to this post them in the comments below and if you enjoy these kind of videos but have maybe some suggestions on other topics let me know as well and if you really want to go deeper in chart.js check out my chart.js course on udemy where we dive deep in different aspects of anything in the chart that you can imagine 